Hi everybody, I'm back. Uh, my name is Dory. This is my YouTube channel where I document my weight loss surgery journey um, and family matters and things of that nature. Um, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy weight loss surgery on September 12, 2016 in Hartford, Connecticut with Dr. Darren Tischler. My highest recorded weight was 350 pounds. My surgery weight was 300.5 and today I am 161. I'm so excited. My goal from the beginning has been 160. Anything obviously under 200 was perfect, but my ultimate goal was 160, which um, I'm only a pound, 1.3 pounds away from being 160. I'm so excited. Um, I am 47 years old and I am five foot four for those who want to reference um, that. Um, I am so thrilled, guys. 161. I totally, um, I'm pinching myself. I'm like, there is no way, no way. Uh, I never thought I'd get here. I never thought that I would get to goal. Uh, it hasn't happened fast and it hasn't happened with a lot of discipline at all. Um, I am a little bit over three years post-op. Um, what else? Yeah, it's, 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 been, it's been a journey. It's been a struggle at times. Um, I have never given up. I have never... Um, thought that I couldn't achieve it. I just knew that it would take a lot of discipline. I am, however, going to um, change my goal after I reach the 160 and my goal is going to be 150 to 155. Um, that I think is going to be my maintenance range. Um, hopefully that is going to look good on me. I'm not sure. I know I um, had an NSV yesterday. I went to my husband's um, a military Christmas party on his base and I put on these jeans that I had just bought from Stitch Fix not too long ago and I sized down to a size 10 and yesterday without realizing it I don't usually wear jeans that are buttoned or any pants for that matter and so I went to the bathroom and I just pulled them right off without having them button them so now I'm thinking maybe I'm changing sizes and maybe I'll go down to shall we say single digits, nine, a nine. Um, and so that is um, crazy to me. That is that is absolutely insane. Uh, I never thought that I would get this low. I mean, when I was a 24, 26, uh, anything down like 18, 16, 18s were like, I'll never get there. And now to be down to a 10 and going into possibly a nine, that is insane. Um, and while we were there, I started wearing these boots. I have these little booties. They have a little bit of a heel. I w walk in them normal. Um, I don't get tired out. Um, definitely a lot of NSVs that happened yesterday and have been happening. And so I'm thrilled to um, just really let you guys know, like, this is possible. It's possible. It takes a lot of discipline, though. I'm going to tell you that if anybody is watching this and you are pre-op, please do not think that the surgery will just magically make you skinny or magically make you, you know, where you want to be in size clothing and things like that. I bought this sweater um, from Costco, and it is a medium, and I'm actually... Uh, it's big. I've washed it several times. I thought it was going to shrink. So I am going to call a small size on tops now. Um, so I'm thrilled. I'm just thrilled at the whole experience. I am also feeling tired because it is raining outside. You can't really see it, but rain, rain, rain. Um, but I can tell you that I started what I've been doing the last um, couple weeks is I've gotten back into the meal prep and uh, measuring my meals in the uh, the little containers. I had stopped doing that. And then unfortunately on, what day was it? Mm, Wednesday, I believe of last week, my refrigerator broke. We've only had this refrigerator for two years and the freezer worked, but the refrigerator just died. It was just hot. And so I had done a ton of meal prep. And I have to tell you guys, I made my white bean chicken chili twice. 
and I had to dump the whole entire crock pots full down the drain because they went bad. And so what I did was, um, when the refrigerator broke, we had taken the stuff and put it outside. We live in the Northeast. And so it snowed here, it was freezing. But what happened was because the, the refrigerator repair man did not come until Friday, we had a day where it was like 35, 40, and then freezing overnight to 10 degrees. And then the next day back into the 35 and back into the teens. And so um, it was freezing and then, and then kind of thawing and then freezing and thawing and it just ruined everything. So all of the prep that I had, I was so upset. We had to throw it away. I mean, we threw away our half and half, our whole uh, heavy whipping cream, the whole whole organic milk we have, everything down the drain because it just made it disgusting. And so I meal prepped on Friday afternoon. Um, he had come late Thursday and so it was fine by Friday. And so I meal prepped Friday afternoon and so that has really saved me. Um, I only limit myself to a cup of food. Um, what I meal prepped the other day was delicious. I had, I took a rotisserie chicken and I get like, there's a, a store next to me that sells like the rotisserie chickens are like this. And so half of it usually goes to my white bean chicken chili. And then the other half, I make this, I take two bags of frozen broccoli. I take one log of goat cheese. And this time I got the fig goat cheese. Um, and then I take the rotisserie chicken, I cut it up. So I take the chicken, I cut it up. I steam the broccoli till it's almost done. I combine the chicken, the broccoli, and that whole log of goat cheese. I mix it all up really good, put it into a casserole dish with some, um, mozzarella cheese, or uh, I also had um, a cheddar cheese, and I just bake it in the oven for like 15 minutes, and that's it. And that's what I've been eating on, and it is phenomenal. The flavor, especially with the fig, oh, so good. Um, and then I also made some um, taco meat, which, oh, I'm so sorry. Mm. taco meat which um, I can eat plain with the seasonings I have and I put some um, uh, olives in it sometimes I put pickles in it um, it's just really good or I put cheese on it and put it in the microwave and melt it or I put salsa or sour cream and that's what I've been eating off these last few days as, as well as eggs and bacon and so basically I'm in ketosis. That's what happened just eating these meals. I have been extremely low carb the last three, four days, which I think has contributed to the two to three pound um, weight loss within the last week. And so um, I can tell I'm in ketosis also because um, I could not sleep at all last night. And when I'm in ketosis, I have an, an horrible, horrible sleeping habits. I sleep nine to two in the morning and then I'm up at two like, oh gosh, I just want to go back to bed and I cannot fall asleep. And so that's how I can tell my body's in ketosis. Um, I also have been drinking, um, I'm not in the mood for coffee lately, um, but I am, sorry, somebody's delivering something at my door. I just want to make sure that they don't hear me. Okay, I think they left. That was Amazon. Oh, maybe they didn't leave. Could be my mailman. I have a ton of packages coming. Um, but anyway, so um, I also have not been wanting any coffee. I just haven't been in the mood for coffee. I started drinking it black with just a tablespoon of erythritol and a tablespoon of MCT oil. Um, I just, I don't know, I'm turned off lately by the smell or taste of coffee. And so... Um, I started drinking this mango ginger tea that I picked up at, at, um, Trader Joe's, I think it was maybe Whole Foods could have been Whole Foods, but either one of them, I picked up a mango ginger tea. And so I just have one tea bag and I put a tablespoon of erythritol and one tablespoon of MCT oil. And I think the MCT oil for sure has really helped me get back into ketosis and to lose this weight. Um, MCT oil is amazing. It's one of my favorite things that I use now. And so I really think that that has been the key to my success over the last couple of weeks. Um, I started um, 
using it about two weeks ago and it I it was the vanilla flavor and it replaces like cream in my coffee or anything it's so good and it's got so many great benefits and so I wish I discovered MCT oil a long time ago because I would have been um, using it this whole entire time um, but I'm gonna do a separate video on the six things that I do and have done this whole whole journey that have been um, have made me successful um, they're very easy things. They're very practical things. They're things any of us can do. It's nothing. It's not rocket science at all. Um, and so I'm going to do a separate video because I just think that that would be helpful. Um, if it were me pre-op, I would definitely want to know these key things to do. Um, I also wanted to say that over the course of the last week, um, in conjunction with making sure that I'm eating just what I'm putting into my little containers. Um, I also am drinking my water and making sure I get all my water in and I'm not snacking between meals. That is a huge thing. I don't care if you want to have three meals a day, four meals a day, one meal a day, two meals a day, whatever. Just don't snack in between. Have those those meals, what you're going to have in the one cup or half cup or whatever you have resolved in your mind to do, have those meals in that amount and then that's it. And then you eat it, you eat it slow, you wait 30 minutes, then you drink and then you drink all along until your next meal, whatever that may be. What I've been doing is some days um, I will eat my last meal at like 6 p.m. and then I'll eat um, the next day maybe at 10 or 11. Uh, some days I wake up and I'm hungry so I will have an egg and a couple of slices of bacon. Um, I try not to deviate off of the easy things that I know are keto and that I know will help my body. There's some days I don't have anything until 12 noon. Uh, including my tea or when I had coffee, my coffee. Um, the MCT oil I can sometimes have in the morning, sometimes I have it in the midday, sometimes I have it in the evening, uh, sometimes I have it twice a day. Um, it all depends if it fits in my macros. I still am a daily weigher and I still am a daily measurer and a daily, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? I input into my fitness pal. And so that is never going to change. And so that helps me to see what macros I have left. If I have more fat that I need to consume or less fat and more protein or if, I, if I'm if i fine and... Oh, I'm so sorry. Most days, I don't even concentrate on my fat. I'm just eating. I'm not really concentrating on a number. I do like to see it. Um, but if my fat is only... 50 grams of fat and my protein's only 60 grams of protein, but I've had 1200 calories, then I'm fine. The last few days I have been under, I think it's like 30 grams of um, carbs for the whole day. And so, uh, and most of my carbs are coming from when I have a protein bar or a keto bar or something like that, one of the Power Crunch bars. If I feel like having something, um, that is uh, sweet, then I have a power crunch bar. If I'm just having something that I just want to savor and taste because I'm hungry, then I'll have a uh, keto bar. Um, yeah, that's really what I've been doing over the last week. Um, I'm definitely trying to get more out. I know that um, last week, well, the week before last Thanksgiving week, my kids were home for seven days straight and that drove me crazy because I was not able to go out and do anything that I really wanted to do. I didn't go crazy over Thanksgiving. As a matter of fact, I, I lost like a pound or something over Thanksgiving. And then last week, the kids had, you know, that was part of the seven days, Monday and Tuesday, they had a snow day. They went to school Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday had a day off from school. And then of course had the weekend off. And so then it brings me to today, my husband's off. We've been spending some time together today. And then I'll have the rest of the week, um, barring that we don't have any type of snow. Um, but anyway, so I have the rest of the week to be able to do things. And so I'm really trying to get out and I'm really trying to do like food hauls and just getting out and not being stuck in this house like I was. And that really helps for my mental health. It just is really good just to get out, not to have to stay here. And some days it's good, like today my husband and I, because it's um, raining so bad out, we just are in the house vegging out. We started watching Bohemian Rhapsody movie. Um, and it's so good. We just got finished re uh, watching The Irishman. 
Um, I won't give you any spoilers of either one, but I will tell you that The Irishman was way too long. It could have been summed up in two hours, not three and a half. Um, the best part of that movie was the actors and, um, you know, the people that they picked to play the parts, uh, the makeup crew and, um, yeah, that was it. It reminded me of pop-up video. You'll know why if you see the movie, but it just reminded me of pop-up video, um, from the eighties. But so now we're on to this movie. So we just kind of vegged out at home today. I baked some cookies for my business. Uh, we've been getting packages and um, trying to plan out the rest of the week. Um, and that's it. But some days I just have to get out of the house. And some days I need retail therapy, which is really just going and buying things that are going to feed our, feed my family. Um, healthy. Um, yeah, things like that. And so that's what I've been kind of keeping my mind occupied with. And of course, Christmas, we're almost done everything. I just, this this um, Friday, I just have to go and um, pick up the gift cards, pick out gift cards for the older kids and then some stocking stuffers and I'm done. I am so done. Especially after yesterday, we went to my husband's um, military. Uh, his base had a huge party, which they do every year. Santa shows up in a in a fighter jet, which my husband does the engines for, and it was really cool. Um, he does it every year, and so it was really fun. But even after yesterday, like, the kids got, like, so many gifts because they had, like, you can just pick out whatever free toys. I mean, we have so many soccer balls, so many um, basketballs, like, way too much for one family. Then they have this one thing, which is, like, um, all these bins of all different kind of candy, you know, Reese's and and um, Sour Patch Kids and this and that. I mean, you you name it. And so every kid, I have five at home. So every kid gets a stocking and they can fill it as much as they want. And so I went with them and I held two of the kids' stockings, the youngest two, five and eight. And because we have so much Halloween candy, even after donating to, to, oh my gosh, classrooms and this and that, we have so much still left over that I was like, pick out five things and that's it. And then I came home and put all of that back into the bag with the Halloween candy and it's just a community bag. And I just feel like in the next week, I'm just going to get rid of it all because they're going to get some stuff for, for Christmas in their stocking. And like, we have way too much. And so thankfully, one the, the little boy that I watch... Um, we go to church together. His parents just adopted him and I watch him before and after school. And uh, his mom is a high school uh, teacher. I give her Ziploc bags, gallon sized bags, tons because her students work well when they get a reward. And so the candy and gum especially is just a reward for them. And so I give it all to her. Um, I used to give it like to the military, but because we're now part of the military and we go to the base a lot, we see that they have like an abundance of that. They're trying to give it away to everybody. So, um, you know, the USO takes good care of the people who are deployed and they send them tons of care packages and things. So, um, but anyway, so that is what we're going to do with the candy. And so that's basically what I'm doing is um, working on my Christmas stuff. Um, I do have to get back our um, uh, family pictures and have it printed. And please, I need you guys' help. I have never in my life been able to do this before. I could just never afford it. I just never did it. If you guys can comment below and let me know what kind of a, where do you get them printed? Do you go to CVS? Do you go to Rite Aid? Uh, do you, how, how do you upload the picture to get it onto those beautiful cards that you then get envelopes for and you distribute? Please let me know how, what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing, but that's it for now. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Happy Monday. I hope the scale moves in the direction you want it to. And I'll talk to you guys soon.